Dragon Ball Z is a popular TV show that I've never actually watched. So instead of watching it, I decided to play the game version Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. PSN Profiles ranks this game a 3 out of 10, which is pretty accurate to be fair. But what is way off is the time. 40 hours they said. I completed it in 25. So am I a god tier gamer or what? Anyway, on my journey, I hope to acquire all 42 trophies this game has to offer. We are immediately thrown into a tutorial fight against Pickles where I get used to the controls and how the game functions. I won the fight acquiring the first trophy of the game. We get brought back to reality where we talk to our child Gohan. He says we need to get home so I call upon a flying Nimbus which takes me straight there where I meet up with my wife Chi Chi. Chi Chi makes us some lovely boiled fish, but the real excitement comes when I discover a flashback thing which is needed for the Z Encyclopedia. Getting my first entry gets the second trophy. We meet up at the Kami house where we see Krillin, and he gives us a currency known as D Medals. These medals will be needed for a trophy much later on. I use the D Medal to go into a simulation battle with Krillin where I get used to the combos and such. I win the fight getting the newfound power trophy. We then get introduced to a villain of the saga known as Raditz, who is Goku's older brother. Anyway, he kicks my ass and steals Goku's son, but when all hope seems lost, we end up teaming up with Pickles to go fight Raditz together. Just before I went to get my son back, I helped a random stranger in a sub-story. I know right, best father helping strangers when his son's been kidnapped. But by defeating the Red Ribbon Gang, the subquest ends and gets me another trophy. Raditz proves to be too strong, so Goku sacrifices himself so that Piccolo can use his laser to kill Raditz. This works and Goku dies as well, leaving his son with some lifetime trauma if I'm honest. Playing as Gohan, we learn that two other Saiyans, which is what Raditz was, are coming to destroy Earth. So Gohan needs to train, but what is really important is that I acquired 10 total D medals for a trophy when looking in the Z Encyclopedia. Skipping ahead in the story, Yamcha and Piccolo die, but Goku gets revived after one full year by the Dragon Balls, and the Saiyans arrive, their names are Nappa and Vegeta. Anyway, as Goku, we defeat Nappa and Vegeta finds out about Friendly Fire, killing Nappa in the process. We then get to challenge Vegeta, and he starts off with some trash talk, and I couldn't let that slide, so I go to obliterate him, but he managed to escape my humiliating blast. Vegeta, in a fit of rage, turns himself into a giant monkey. Krillin tries cutting off Vegeta's tail to revert him back to normal, but he fails and Vegeta avoids the attack. But what he didn't see is that Katana Man cuts off his tail and Vegeta gets shrunken back to regular size, defeated. Krillin goes for the kill against weakened Vegeta, but Goku, that kind-hearted baboon, interrupts Krillin and tells him to let him go. In doing this, Vegeta makes it back to his pod and skedaddles out of there. This concludes the first out of the four sagas, getting me the worst for wear trophy. Before I went into the next saga, I went to get some trophies. The first of which is getting Chi Chi to make a full course meal. These meals permanently increase my stats, making it much easier to defeat enemies. Next, when returning to the Kame house, I got a telepathic message from King Kai. These messages appear when you harvest materials like Z orbs. Anyway, getting my first message lends me a trophy. Now, heading over to the Capsule Corp, I got 200 entries in the Z Encyclopedia, making me super smart for the Thirsty for Knowledge trophy. Again, at the Kami house, I would receive two random trophies just for talking to Master Roshi. I don't know exactly what I did, but two free trophies is not bad at all. When in the middle of a quest, these robots attacked. After I defeated them, the subquest ends, getting a total of 10 subquests completed, awarding me the do gooder trophy. The new saga introduces a new villain, Freezer. He isn't active until the second part though, but Vegeta is also back. He used to work for Freezer, but he wants to get immortality to kill Freezer because Freezer wiped out his entire Saiyan race. So to do that, Vegeta goes one by one, killing his former adversaries. Goku finally arrives on planet Namek to help with the defeat of Frieza, but his first priority is finding Krillin and his son who is also here. 
But my priority is training, and during the training, I activated my Kaioken and my Burst, and then used a Kamehameha. This activates a super finish, which I got on complete accident, but sending my ghost self into the stratosphere awards me the flashy finish trophy. Frieza eventually finds Gohan and Vegeta, and we engage in battle. Winning the fight, Frieza skedaddles off with his tails between his legs. Now we play as Piccolo, and he's been revived by the Namekian Dragon Balls, and upgrading his moveset as it's been a while since I've played as him in the skill tree awards me a trophy. I just realized that I missed the trophy, and instead of editing the entire video again, I'm just going to mention it here. As Gohan, I needed to fight this villainous party which are extra strong enemies, defeating this batch gave me the trophy. Gohan, Krillin, and Vegeta finish off the rest of Frieza's army, and in the process I use 10 super attack assists, which are moves the support characters do. Doing the 10 gets the power of friendship trophy. Vegeta fires a huge energy beam at Frieza only for it to be kicked away, leaving the Saiyan defeated. And then Frieza uses him as a boxing bag, as one does. Now it was Goku's turn to fight. I managed to get the super finish on Frieza to add insult to his demise. In the final showdown, Goku unlocks Super Saiyan, which helps with the power enhancement, so Goku doesn't need to take a steroid anymore. But Frieza tries to kill us, so we eradicate him from existence, ending the second saga and awarding me a trophy, Emperor No More. Now the Dragon Balls are active, and collecting all seven allows me to get Shenron to grant one of the preset wishes. Getting my wish granted awards me another trophy. Inside the Capsule Corp again, I get 400 entries in the Z Encyclopedia for the Fountain of Knowledge trophy. I then went to Bulma to make a mechanical part which was a trophy I didn't realize. I was upgrading some useless characters the game forced me to play with and got the trophy for getting 100 upgrades in the skill tree. The next saga starts with the awakening of these two androids, 17 and 18. They get awakened to kill Goku but they choose not to and Krillin, my man, gets a taste of love. See ya. The real threat isn't Android 17 or 18, it's Cell, and he wants to achieve his perfect form, and to do so, he absorbs both Android 17 and 18 to do so. I did some fishing, which in turn got me 100 D medals for the trophy Heavy Metal. Android 16 tries to sacrifice himself by self-destructing, but his bomb was removed during repair, so Cell just blows him up instead. Android 16 gives one last inspiring message to Gohan before getting his head crushed by Cell. This triggers an emotional anger within Gohan and he unlocks Super Saiyan 2. With Gohan's newfound power, me and Cell clash Kamehameha's before Goku helps Gohan and we wipe Cell from existence, ending the Cell saga, getting the Earth's new champion trophy. I got a trophy after for getting an instant victory, which is a hidden mechanic where an enemy lower level than you gets demolished when being run over. Up next, inside each area are boulders blocking caves. I would receive a trophy for destroying my first boulder. The next two trophies were for making the hovercar and the Robowalker. Each invention awarded me their own trophy. The last saga starts with everybody waiting for Goku at the World Martial Arts Tournament. It's not that simple as two minions enter as well to gather energy to summon Booth, the villain of the saga. Anyway, the mind-controlling guy gets a hold on Vegeta and he turns evil again, now known as Majin Vegeta. Before I get into more detail, I went training, and for a reward, I got a trophy for acquiring 10 skills with one character. A bit ahead in the story, Majin Buu gets revived and Vegeta prepares to sacrifice himself to stop him, but he gives his son one last hug before knocking him and Goten out. Vegeta says his farewells before blowing himself up in a pretty impactful scene, but when the explosion passes, we see his ashy remains crumble and blow away. 
This doesn't end up killing Boo, so Goku unlocks Super Saiyan 3. Very creative names. But I clash with him, and when he is in low health, our energy beams collide, which would mean victory in a cool way. But it didn't work, so I had to punch him like a common man. In the end, Goku uses a spirit bomb, but Boo is resisting. So with one good push, Boo gets evaporated and blown up in space. And all Goku has to say is phew. But regardless, with Boo's defeat comes my trophy, Bye Bye Boo, for finishing all four sagas. I then got two trophies, one for getting my 50th instant victory, and one for 50 Master Roshi missions completed. For the Platinum, you need to fight a secret boss, and to activate that fight, you would need to defeat all villainous parties. I would receive a trophy for defeating 20 and 30 villainous parties beforehand. During a fight, I activated a Z combo, which is a special move you can use when your sub character's support gauge is full. Anyway, activating my 10th combo gets the Z combo Zaliet trophy. I would locate the final Dragon Ball, summoning Shenron for the fifth time, getting slightly greedy for a trophy. I would then get Chi Chi to make me and the boys a full course meal to prepare for the secret boss fight. In doing so, we ate a total of 5 meals for the trophy, only the finest. I then went out to destroy a total of 10 boulders, which was harder than I would have thought, as they can be pretty hard to spot. I get the job done, lending me another trophy. For the trophy tough enough, I had to upgrade the training room to level 10, then beat the challenge, which was a fight against Martian Boo again. Completing the battle gets me that trophy. For the last remaining trophies, I once again gathered all the Dragon Balls for the 10th time, summoning Shenron for the Shenron's favorite trophy, and I never summoned him ever again. For the last trophy before the secret fight, I had to farm materials to finally get King Kai to speak to me 20 goddamn times for the Who Needs a Phone trophy. The secret fight is against a guy called Mira, and I don't know where he's from, so feel free to tell me in the comments. Anyway, he wants to absorb things to become powerful, classic villain stuff, so me and the boys go to put a stop to it. The fight starts and we trade blows, his ones are a lot harder than mine. But with the combined power of the boys, we press on. Blow after blow, we slowly chip away at his health. Eventually, we break his guard. This allows us to go in and deal incredible damage without him being able to fight back. As well, when you use your special moves, there is a unique animation for them, which was a very nice surprise. Z combos also make it into the fight. Mira has so much health that I was able to charge three of these bad boys in this fight alone. It probably doesn't help, he was level 100 and I was only level 87. To end the fight, I was trying to get the super finish, but upon completing my nasty combo, the finisher didn't work. But nonetheless, Mira is defeated. Mira is ashamed that he has been bested, so his assistant creates a time travel portal to escape my wrath. But regardless, I got the trophy down with the demon realm for defeating Mira, and of course, that means I got the trophy for collecting all trophies. With that done, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot has been platinum, and this was a great game. It focused more on the story, but had solid action, although some cutscenes were totally boring. But that didn't stop me from having a good time. Now I really do feel like I've watched the show, and I understand why people love it so much. It's that good. I hope you all loved the video, and please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. But without further ado, I would recommend you check out my other video where I platinum cuphead rather easily.